Hello fans, Chad Jackson here in the Coach's Corner with head soccer coach Eric Faulkner. The Pirates survived the clash on the coast with a couple of draws against the top two ranked teams in the country, earning a 0-0 draw with number two Grand Valley State and a 1-1 draw with top ranked and defending national champion West Florida. And Coach Faulkner, what can you really glean from the weekend going in? You probably would have accepted two draws, but there are obviously some uh, high points and low points. Yeah, I mean, we wanted to, to see what we were all about. I think we found out that we have a good team. Um, you know, we were a lot different than we were last year. We graduated a lot of players, as we said in our, our preseason uh, broadcast, and I think uh, we learned a lot about ourselves. You know, first game against Grand Valley, probably could have gone either way. I felt like we created enough goal-scoring opportunities to perhaps score, and they did too. We survived late and over time. They had a really good look. We cleared off the line. So, you know, that game was probably a fair result, I think, to draw. But, uh, you know, we could have won it as easily as we could have lost that game. But uh, second game against West Florida, I felt on the day we were the better team. Um, they're very good. Uh, they're going to be very good. Uh, they return, you know, they're pretty much their national championship team intact. But I thought on the day we probably should have won the game. Uh, we didn't manage the end of the game very well. But uh, as I told them afterwards, um, it's a learning experience for us. Better to be in September than in November or December. So uh, we'll fix those problems. But uh, I think we learned a lot about ourselves and uh, that we can be a very successful team. But we still got to get better and work hard. And uh, we got a lot of tough games ahead. Had some honors on the week. One of them being that uh, Taylor Russell, your sophomore center back, was not only named the Peach Bowl Conference Defender of the Week, but the NSCA Division II National Player of the Week, and that's a new award, so a really nice honor for her and the Armstrong program. I mean, Taylor had a great weekend. Uh, the whole defensive group had a great weekend, but uh, Taylor uh, has this knack for scoring goals, um, especially off corners and things like that, mixing around in the box. It's kind of similar to the goal she scored against Columbus in the uh, Peach Belt Final last year, but uh, did a good job handling the two pretty dangerous attacking teams uh, along with the, the rest of our backs. Um, so I was really pleased with that. And it's nice to get that kind of recognition for her. Um, she doesn't really say a whole lot most of the time. She kind of keeps, you know, just does her job. Um, she's, uh, but uh, she's a wonderful player for us. And I think we have one of the best center backs in the, in the country in Taylor Russell. Uh, this weekend you're hosting another tournament, uh, the Pirates Shootout. Not the national ranking among the fields, but it's still a pretty good field with Belmont Abbey coming in with Clayton State out of the Peach Bowl Conference coming in and Lynn. So talk about about the field for the Pirates shootout. Yeah, it's a good field. You got well, you know Lynn, who uh, last time we played them beat us, I believe, down there at Lynn. Um, so we know that uh, they're going to be a very solid side. Uh, Belmont Abbey went to the NSA tournament last year, uh, got a great result against Lenore Ryan, uh, must be Columbus State. They're off to a 3-0 start, I believe, or 2-0 start. So they're going to be definitely uh, someone to contend with. And then Clayton got a big win last night, scored five goals against West Georgia. Um, they they uh, tied uh, West Florida in a scrimmage in preseason. So um, I think it's a great field. It's got teams that potentially could be in the NSA tournament. Uh, may not be currently, you know, nationally ranked like the uh, field uh, last week, but uh, I think uh, we have to be at our best, and our players know that. And we're excited about it, being at home again, a chance to, to get a win. You know, we don't have a win right now, and it's kind of a weird feeling a little bit when you look at, the, to look at our record and you say, we haven't won a game yet. Um, so uh, that's important. You know, we need to win you know, both games this weekend and, and, and get ready for conference play because uh, it gets pretty difficult right off the bat there. Armstrong hosts the Pirates shootout this weekend, taking on Belmont Abbey Friday, 3.30 p.m. out at the Armstrong soccer field. And, of course, you can follow along with all the matches this weekend on Ustream.tv slash Armstrong Pirates. Coach Faulkner, uh, good luck this weekend. We'll talk to you again soon. Great. Thank you, Jeff.